Good morning everyone and welcome to Pokemon Alpha Sapphire No Catch. In the last part we finished up our uh, Gym 5, we beat our father, and we were forced to very quickly come to Mavo. Um, I wish we weren't because we could pick up the amulet coin had we um, stayed over um, by Little Root. Instead, we're going to be teaching Surf to Marsh Tom because, well, that's his um, main use. He's the only starter who could have learned Surf. So, we have to complete a move for Surf. Thankfully, Surf is ridiculously powerful, especially compared to Water Gun for this guy. Uh, Surf's going to be doing a lot more damage for us. It's, it's just a straight upgrade regardless. Good accuracy, not the best PP, but... Uh, the damage boost is great. So we're going to sail away off with Surf. As I mentioned last time, Briny is no longer available, so if we needed to go back to Dewford, this is the method we're going to have to use for now. But we sail right across. There's lots of enemies here. Um, this guy actually, let's fight him. Fisherman, but uh, also a trainer. I'm training the greatest Pokemon I caught. So let's see what he's got. I don't think he's a fisherman trainer. I sorry, a magic herb trainer. He comes out with Carvana. So here's where we first see there's going to be a drastic level difference from what we had been facing to what we're facing now. I put Anarith in the lead. Uh, I'm regretting that since the first thing we're fighting is a um, fisherman. I should have won with Pikachu. But I figured it's a good way to at least show the level difference. I'm not too worried about um, Carvana doing too much damage to us. We still have our speed pack. Uh, Electro Ball. We also have Rock Smash really felt like it. Ice Fang. Ooh. I guess, I guess we're not using um, Pikachu. We're gonna go to Marsh Tomp. Wolfet has a lot of health, but I'd rather lead a battle with him. Especially not against something uh, 10 levels higher. Screech will take the defense down. So Screech and Swagger is a beautiful combination. Uh, I, I just gotta say that regardless. Uh, Mudshot. Get that stab. Hopefully it does enough damage. It does. We killed off the Carvana. Uh, and I think because we killed it we're not getting rough skin damage. And Anarith gets a little experience, so does Pikachu. Uh, Gyarados. Would have loved to have Pikachu right now, because um, Marshchomp is a bit of a pickle, because ground and water aren't going to be helpful, but I mean, I guess this is the reason we keep Rock Slide. That's the reason he probably keeps Dragon Rage. Because are you kidding me? A, a fixed 40? Not the most helpful thing at level 30. But you can see three hits is gonna kill anything at his level. Heck, maybe two? I'm not so certain on that though. But, I mean, another 1k experience. Bob Effect crew a level. Uh, surprised. But yeah, that's the, what we're expecting for this next few areas. However, let's continue up here. And we meet Steven again. We met in Granite Cave, if you guys did not remember. Uh, it's good our journey's going well. And you just talk to Steven, and then normally he heads out. At least that was the case back in uh, the movie Sapphire and Emerald. However... I don't know what really triggers this, outside of just luck and we're with Steven. But we get to see... Latios. I believe that one's Latios. Come talk to us. Oh, it is. Good. Shwa. So we are both going to hop on, hop on Latios and sail away. Or fly away, I guess. Soar was the term he used. However, we're now off into the sky with this strange older gentleman. And we fly off to this island way down to the south. Impossible to get to through normal means. We've arrived. 
thank you, Latios. Not, not unease, not fear, it's just something like an illusion. I'm excited because this is going to be our next team member. Can you, do you heal me? No, but you do give me the option to head back if I need to. Um, I don't want to worry about it. Marsh Chomp and Pikachu are low, so uh, let's at least use an item. Heal up Marsh Chomp. I don't think I have anything that'll heal a fro free the frozen. So we're gonna give 100 HP restore to Marsh Chomp, and that should put us in a fine spot. Uh, Pikachu is going to be unfortunately useless for this next fight. It's a little troublesome, but the who them did sit to cut the root. Those whose memories fade seek to carve them in their hearts. It's really hard to pronounce with all the little random blocks. So there it is. There's Latias. If I were to describe such beauty in terms of stone, I know you're you're Stephen Stone, but still, um, you really are focused on stones too much. And Team Aqua is here. That alluring gentleman with him. I should know him from somewhere. Maybe he's a contest star. I do believe Stephen is. Um, Lizza's, um, the the contest star champion. It's her brother, I believe. All right, yeah, uh, go right ahead. So we're gonna be fighting with Steven on our side. So it's a double battle. Hopefully, Steven can carry his weight uh, and our weight because we only have really Anoreth that will bring an out for this. The Sharpedo and a Grimer. Uh, Metang definitely going to help us on that Grimer, but the Sharpedo. Um, well, we'll Ancient Power Grimer, because let's get as much damage onto there as we can. If you one hit me, I guess I kind of should have expected it. Though, I'm a little surprised that um, Metang dodged both. Uh, we are going to use counter, and we're going to use it. Oh, we don't even have to pick a target. Interesting. Let's see, do we live? So Zen Headbutt killed Grimer, which means we're not taking any more damage, which means Wobbuffet just killed Sharpedo. Uh, with 120 damage. So that is definitely Wobbuffet's main draw, and I want to use Wobbuffet more. The downside is, yeah, he just got 5 to his health, so he actually out helps our Marsh Tom, who was double his level. Um, Wobbuffet is great for HP. Uh, the big downside is, he can't. He has no direct attacks. So, uh, we have to take advantage of Counter and Mirror Goat. I'm going to start loving you from now on, too. Alright then. Next time I see you, I'll smash you up real good. Alright, goodbye, Matt and Grunt. And this is why I didn't go back and heal, because I knew Steven is going to heal up our party. Uh, I think the big issue is we don't have enough strength on Anoreth. And surprise, surprise, that is our next team member. No nickname. We haven't given any nicknames to any of them. We also got a piece of Latiosite. Uh, sorry, Latiasite. And look at that. Has joined our party. We also get a gift from Steven. Uh, it is going to be the Mega Ring. Oh, sorry, Mega Bracelet. My mistake. It gives us access to, well, Mega Evolving Latias. And in the future, as well as Swampert. We don't even have Swampert or his Mega Evolution, so... 
Um, we can't use that yet. And our team is actually shaping up pretty well. Um, notably, we have three of our team members in their final forms at this point. We need to evolve Anarith and Swampert and then still get our last member. And we're going to be done. There is a sort of evolution that we can get for Pikachu, which I want to take advantage of before we do the 6th gym. Um, that's my plan anyways. Schwan! Alright, we have to take good care of Latios. Uh, sorry, Latias. Uh, I believe we get it at level 30. So, we do have that advantage. I believe it is a Dragon Flying type? Let me double check. Or is it Dragon Psychic? Dragon Psychic type. With Levitate for its ability, Heal Pulse, Dragon Breath, Mist Ball, and Psycho Shift. So pretty decent setup right now. And because it is level 30, it's in the best shape. We still have Wobbuffet and Anorin that need a lot of um, training before they're good. So we're gonna keep up, we're gonna keep Anorin in the lead because I want him to get at least a bit of training, so let's fight this guy. Bird Pokemon that fly earnestly in the sky. They're the best. And this guy's perfect for Anorith because, well, he is the Bird Keeper Perry. Pelipper. I'm a little worried about Pelipper's water moves, but I don't know. I feel Anorith can survive one, uh, even with the 7 level difference. So let's smack down. Alright, it's not a water move, so let's see if Anorith survives. Even with super effective blitz, Ancient Power. Ooh, Protect. Uh, we already took well advantage of that in Gym 5. Um, pretty much just pre protecting every turn to make it so we couldn't really do anything. Um, whenever his Thaw King was going to attack. No boost, I don't think we can survive another hit. So, Pikachu, come on out. Uh, we're gonna switch you just to clean up this Pelipper. Because Anorith and Pikachu are gonna be what we have to use to take out basically any flying thing. That was the one move I did not want to see Pelipper have. Uh, because Icicle Crash, as well as um, Gyro Ball, is gonna be our two weapons for flying type. Uh, Pelipper, probably better to use the Electro Ball. Every time I'm going to use a decent move, it's blocking itself. I don't think we have enough speed, so this isn't going to hit as hard as I want it to, but I mean four times weakness. Uh, it does definitely give us a nice boost. Very nice, Pikachu. Very nice. Wobbuffet, I mean, you keep soaking up that experience, you are going to be a trump card of sorts. Because it's going to work for anyone we have to trade. Um, yeah, anyone we have to, like, once someone's died, it would be perfect time. A bunch of bug catchers. I know we have uh, Anorith, which is a bug type to lead. Um... Boba Fett, because it's not going to be good there. Let's, I guess, unfortunately drop Marsh Tom. Pikachu, its ice moves, not the most helpful against bugs, but... You finally caught me, or were you trying to avoid me? We were trying to catch him. The first of the Mirror 4? Done. Because, yeah, there are four trainers who do just walk around uh, next to, like, following your own movements through this grass. They can get a little annoying. I think Surf should be enough. He's faster than us. Ooh. Tail Glow boosting special attack. Well, as long as it wasn't special defense, we were pretty safe. And it's raining. I didn't realize it was raining. That's going to give Marsh Tom actually a pretty strong boost. Because I think in the rain, water attacks get boosted by 50%. So, another Surf. And I, I don't think Illumuse can survive this hit. I would take more advantage of this if I had a water move on Anorin. And the reason I'm a little upset with how things lined up 
Um, had we gotten Latias right before that water portion, I could have used any starter. Uh, I could use even, um, like, I could use Chikori, not, yeah, not Chikorita. Uh, I could use Torchic because, well, it doesn't matter that it's a fire type, um, because we are getting that much additional power just from uh, Latias coming early enough that we can serve. It is just for the term Surf, Dive, uh, Waterfall, and Fly. I think that would have been Latias' moveset. Uh, instead, now Marshamp can steal three of those. Uh, we've already seen Pikachu has Rock Smash and Strength. So it, it pretty much that's all six of the ones we need to worry about. Ooh, what wild encounter do we have this time? It's... Linoon. Of all form of Zigzagoon, we've seen lots of Zigzagoons. It's finally time. I think it's level 20 that it would normally evolve, so we're finally going to be running into Linoons regularly. Um, I, use, I had good encounter luck up until this point, like not running into very much at all. Uh, instead, now, every single time, we're, we're running into more. So, escape the rest of the way. I thought how you fly is by catching a whole flock of bird Pokemon and then hanging onto them somehow. Turns out there's an HM move called Fly. In a way, my dream came true, but it also feels like I lost my dream. It feels really strange. So, as you mentioned, there is an HM called Fly, and we are going to use it. You know what? Well, effect. Let's see. Break your way into here and see if you can take care of this fight. Because I believe this guy is a fight. Oh, nope. But oh, these two are. Who was my second guy? Second guy's Marsh Chomp. Well, let's bring Pikachu out. This is going to be a difficult fight for Pikachu and uh, Wobbuffet because they're brains and brawn which means we're both going to get hit by physical as well as special moves in the same turn. So I can only reflect one of them. I think it's safer for me to try to reflect uh, Machoke's hit rather than um, Kadabra's. So I'm going to go with the counter. And Pikachu, I need you to work on taking down Kadabra. Kadabra is reflect, so already I feel like I'm in a good situation. The defense increase, which isn't going to affect uh, Electro Ball. Rip. Ooh. But that was not a good sign. This is the downside of Wobbuffet. Well if no one attacks him, he can't do anything. Uh, Fire Stomp, your turn. Come on out. Another downside. I'll throw up a counter again. His Surf hits him. So I can't even use Surf. Rock Slide will work. Uh, Miracle Eye again, so the Kadabra's not going to do much. Uh, but Machoke's going to get hit. And then Flinch. This is just a bad, bad fight for uh, Boba Fett overall. Uh, I'm going to protect because I know Kadabra's coming out towards um, Marsh Tom this turn. Or not. Fine. Looks like I'm not going to get any use out of uh, trying to Wobbuffet. So we're just going to surf. Wobbuffet come back. If I had Earthquake, I'd be using that instead, because I know I'm switching over to Latias, so I'm not going to take any damage. We're going to take a hit on Latias of the surf, but I mean, I think our, our special is high enough to be fine. Yeah, not very effective because of Dragon. Heal Pulse. I'm going to use that on Marsh Tom as well as Surf. So Latias is actually really good for this sort of battle uh, because Marsh Tom's going to get healed. Because I think it heals half their health. And then Surf is going to come out. It's going to not do much damage to Latias and it's going to kill one of the enemies. Sure, Latias does have Psycho Cut, which should do enough damage. Very nice one for that. 
if all, like the enemies just weren't targeting you. So I guess I can't get too uh, mad at you. Mud shot, finish him off. Yeah, even with recover, I don't think you're taking both our hits. Fine, get that right. And it, it comes to this point where I'm really glad it's not a Nuzlocke, because I think we have lost Pikachu um, enough times, and Anoreth a bunch, uh, that if it was a Nuzlocke, we would have lost the challenge by this point, even though we only have three Pokémon that really are uh, required. Uh, thank you, we learned a lot from you. Did you learn that uh, Wobbuffet is, use is useless if you don't target him? Because I think you already knew that. And they used it very well. Uh, we should be approaching. Yeah, this is the last patch of grass before the um, next area. Of course, we get into one more encounter during it, though. And a gloom. Well, gloom fortunately isn't too too much to worry though. Uh, only level 23. I guess you know what? We'll try Miracle. I think you. Yeah, you're gonna hit with Mega Drain. It's a weird combination, because you just hit us with uh, 19 damage, so you're taking damage. But then you're like, oh, I'm hurt, so I should use Mega Drain. And the cycle continues. We take a little more damage, but we do enough that it should kill. I guess it's, it's a rounding error. I'm liking Charm, because Charm is going to help us in the long run if we're dealing with, like we just did for Brains and Rocks. Um, we're going to be able to uh, Charm to lower the attack of the physical, yeah, even though it does mean we don't have Safeguard, which protects us from status, I believe? Status or um, move increase decrease. Oh, was I off by a patch? I could have sworn we'd be almost at the Leather Institute. And this is actually what we're going to be calling it this place. Welcome to the Weather Institute. It seems to be a disturbance on the second floor, but I'm a professional. I'm not easily rattled. Uh, you can see Team Aqua is inside this area. It's a bed. Let's take a rest. You can heal up your Pokemon at any time in this area, so it's going to be very helpful for us as we go to clear this out. But that'll be next time. We want to put Anoreth back in the lead, follow it with Wobbuffet, and use this as an excuse to train up our team. 23 and 21, they're not going to help us too much in the in the uh, gym coming forward, so we will have to train them up here and get them ready for next time. Have a great night, everyone, and see you tomorrow. Well, not tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, where we go and we try to take down the Weather Institute and clear up Team Aqua. See you guys then.